Hi everyone, happy pajama day. I'm here with a special brown bear. This is a special bear in our family and we like to snuggle this bear at nighttime when we're reading our bedtime stories when we're in our PJs. I have my special pillows all nice and cozy here and I'm in a special rocking chair. Paul and Eli like to snuggle up in this chair and we read books before it's bedtime so I thought I would read you a book that we love in this special chair too. Check this out. We love this book so much that we have it in English and we have it in Spanish too. What do you think this title says? If you know that this title is called Good Night Moon, and this one says Buenas Noches Luna, what do you think this says? This says Good Night Moon too in Spanish. Luna means moon in Spanish. I'm gonna read you this version because I don't know if many of you would know the words in this book, but maybe soon one day you'll learn to speak Spanish and you can read a book in Spanish too. Okay, so this book is called Good Night Moon. Raise your hand if you've read this book before. I bet many of you have. Let's go ahead and read and see what it's all about. It's a perfect story for bedtime. Look at that. I see a red balloon. There's a little bunny getting ready for bedtime, a cozy fire. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of, what's that picture of? A cow jumping over the moon, jumping over la luna, the moon. The cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs, one, two, three little bears sitting on one, two, three chairs. We're back in the room. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. Kittens, mittens. And a little toy house and a young mouse. House mouse. Those words rhyme. And a comb and a brush. There's a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. And a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. She's saying, shh, time to be quiet. Time to calm our bodies down and get ready for rest. Good night, room. Good night to the room. Good night, moon. There's the moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Oh, look at, do you notice the room is getting darker? There's the moon. It's very dark outside. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Bears in the chairs. There they are again. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good job. Kittens, mittens. Those words rhyme. Good night, clock. Let's see if you can find out what word rhymes with clocks. Good night, clocks. Good night, socks. Oh, good night, little house. Good night, mouse. House, mouse. Oh, now it's getting very dark in the room. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. There's the comb and the brush right by her bedside. Do you remember what that is? A bowl full of mush. Good night, nobody. It's blank. Good night, mush. No, it's very dark now. Time for bed. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush.
Good night, stars. And good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. The room is dark and look, the moon is up in the sky. It's time for bed. All right, one more thing I need your help with. I actually have this puzzle and I was working on it and I got a little stuck. There are some pieces that just, I wasn't able to get them in right. So maybe you can help me. You wanna help? All right, come help me. Hi guys, so check this out. I was doing this puzzle. It looks just like our book, Good Night Moon. It's a big floor puzzle and I was able to get most of the pieces in, but there's some pieces that are missing. Hmm, do you think you can help me? Let's take a look at this piece right here. It looks like that old lady who is whispering, hush, let's take a look at what she's supposed to look like. She's a bunny, right? In a big yellow chair. So let's take a look at these two pieces right here. Which one has a piece of the little old lady that looks like a bunny rabbit in a yellow chair? Is it this piece or is it this piece? Can you point to which one I should put in that spot? It's missing the little old lady, the bunny. Missing her head and some of the books too, it looks like, some of the books. Do you see one that has books on it in the little old lady's head? Yeah, thank you. Let's see if that fits right in there. <gasps> Yes, good job, we did it. All right, let's go on over here. Oh, hey, those are the things that rhyme with mittens. Those are the kittens. I only see one kitten there. What kitten is missing? Looks like the little black kitten. So let's go on over here. We have these two pictures, these two pieces of the puzzle right here. Which one has some of this rug? It's like tan rug and a piece of the kitten in it. Do you see a piece that has a little kitten's face in it that's missing? Is it this piece or this piece? Can you point to it to help me out? Yes, there's the kitten. Hi, little kitten. Oh, there they are. Now they can be together again. There are the kittens. Good job. We did a great job. All right, hmm. Oh, let's go up here. There's the picture of the cow jumping over the moon. Let's look at these pictures right here. Do you guys see one that has the cow jumping over the moon? Let's see. Is it this one or this one? There, you're right. Perfect. There it is. Only a couple pieces left. This one's tricky because this is a corner piece. It's gonna be rounded and it looks like it has the words on the edge. Do you see which one that might be that has rounded with words on the edge? Is it this one or this one? Great, and look, it looks like part of that red balloon is there too. Do you think this will make the full red balloon? Let's try it together. Oh, let's see. Yes, we did it. All right, we have one last piece and it looks like there's one piece here, but let's make sure that's the right one. Right under the window is the table that has the comb, the brush, and the mush. Is that it? Yes, we did it. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much for your help.